Hi and welcome to Woven Worlds. <laughs> so on the video of today my soul sister is gonna take over so I'll leave you now with my soul sister. Take it away soul sister! So I am trying to figure out like certain things in my life right now right i really want to talk today about how we're going to change the way we live our lives coming going forward right when george floyd passed away i was really challenged in looking at how these systems have really made us value things that we don't really need to value that actually don't add value to our lives right and i just want to challenge that today i want to grapple with the idea of what we can value moving forward because for the past few months actually i've been decluttering my home that i've lived in for several years and there's quite a few rooms in this house and you don't realize over time how much you like acquire right for a variety of reasons you know i know for me it's been an insecurity of a variety of levels as to why i've hoarded so much such as insecurity of finances insecurity of self insecurity of security insecurity of safety all that like and more there's so much to it and so in me decluttering my home i'm decluttering my life and doing away with the things that i used to value right and i've really been grappling recently with the things that i truly want or at least thought i wanted right so maybe like you know a big house and beautiful cars and you know a, a wardrobe created by like the top premium designers of this world now that's not to say that those things don't bring you joy and pleasure because that is something that we need to make sure we take into consideration when or as we are creating these new systems okay however because of the capitalist system we live in we've been tricked into thinking that the certain things that we that we are told to value actually add value to our lives right now i'm not saying that for example having a bacon bag won't add value to your life but it's more to do with like what like the out the value you add to it okay i know that on twitter or instagram or you know these social media pages someone was questioning these black and brown women rappers having certain luxurious items and how they bring down the value which really is just racist and sexist and stupid on a variety of levels but that's another discussion for another day for now we're talking about the way in which even the emphasis of having a bacon bag or having a fendi outfit is given value right and so i don't think there's anything wrong with wanting these things okay because ultimately the thing itself isn't the issue it's how it, it it's its value is created right and because of the capitalist system we live in it's then kind of demonized to have right because of the expensive expensivity is that a word i don't know the point is it's given so much like weight okay and the exclusivity so you know the more exclusive something is the more you know people want it and that's fine but it was the system that maybe created this the issue of acquiring these things and adding and putting value on on actual things that is the issue right and this um amazing activist called deja was having a discussion about this the other day on ig live and they are just amazing they're absolutely fantastic they've been really opening up my eyes to so much to do with you know pleasure capitalism and you know and how the systems we are trying to create especially for black queer folk is possible it's not even like it's a faraway fantasy it's a reality but we just have to I guess fight to make it happen so going back to the decluttering the decluttering isn't just like 
getting rid of things it's also asking why I, why i wanted these things in the first place okay and again it was to do with insecurity of on a variety of levels and so now i feel like i don't know maybe spirit or my spiritual counsel is now making me question why i wanted those things but also what do i want next right because if if decluttering my space is well to be for for me especially over the past couple of months has been causing me nothing but stress okay because i'm like how did i acquire so much stuff how, how do i have this from like 15 20 years ago from childhood from you know whatever am i going to use this why did i buy this and you know it's not just my stuff it's it's family members as well but i'm just kind of like ah why why did we ha why did why why is there so much stuff why is there so much stuff why you know and you know i will take into consideration that you know especially for hoarders coming from like a poor background that's um that's very common so yeah bearing in mind guys i'm, I'm also trying to figure this out like as i'm talking to you about this because I'm not shaming myself for my hoarding tendencies because I know, especially with the therapy I've gone through and the counseling and, and the and the work I've done, the self-healing I've done has brought this to my attention. And also the healing I've done has given me space to even question this in the first place. So yeah, I will say that right now I'm looking at what do I want my future to look like, right? And you know, if I want, for example, a big house with you know <laughs> a car <laughs> lot full of like the most expensive beautiful cars that's not necessarily even what i want but it's like why do i want that right and it's going back to how capitalism and all of its you know violent glory has made us want um to acquire these things right even to go above and beyond stepping on other people and making it impossible for others to even acquire those things because of the exclusivity that is placed upon them and shunning other people and 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 dehumanizing other people and making people feel bad for not having these things all of that is taken into consideration again i'm working this out as i'm talking to you about it because i just wanted to like figure out what that means what it all what this means for me to question and not even just me like I want you to question it as well. I want you to question why you value the things you do. And stripping away, say for example, the things you have, like what in your life do you hold do you hold of high value? What do you value? Do you value peace of mind? Do you value a 10 bedroom home with, you know, three or four floors and a beautiful attic with, you know, a wide sunlight? I'm getting ideas. You know, I've been getting into my archi <laughs> architectural digest, you know, energy type of, you know, vim and source. But also, like, not feeling guilty for one of those things. It's just how you go about it. Because, you know, in the Bible, it says about how, um, and I think people get this wrong sometimes, where they say money is the root of all evil, when really it's the love of money that is the root of all evil i don't think there's anything wrong with wanting a lot of money but then it's like okay for example say if you wanted 10k a month why do you want 10k a month what would you do with it is that money that you're going to be hoarding mostly for yourself or are you going to be giving it to your community are you going to be investing are you be, are you going to be giving it to people who need it more than you do you know what i mean i'm not saying you know having wanting to have 10k a month is a bad thing but it's more of the reasoning behind it it's more of the intention behind it it's more of like looking at your desires and why you have that desire and not shaming yourself for it necessarily but more of like just questioning because you know me I like to question everything if you haven't figured that out that's what i do i like to question anything maybe it's the libra in me i don't know because i like to get to the root not the root the root of something and until it makes sense for me i won't rest so what i'm trying to say is i'm questioning to myself and to you guys what do you value in your life because the way in which we value and what we value in our lives it comes down to how within our society 
society says this is what you should value for example i was having a recent conversation with my soul sister elizabeth someone had said to her hey when are you having kids and it's like i'm sorry I mean, she was very polite. She was very politely told to, like, you know, mind her business. <laughs> but the person who asked her that question clearly holds value on on children, right? That's not to say children don't hold value. Of course, they hold value because you know they're children. But not wanting a family, like, that's okay too. Not not valuing having a family. But you know, if you don't want to have kids, or if you do want to have kids, either way that's you know your choice that is doesn't matter whether you're a person with ovaries or not it doesn't matter like do you want kids if that's something you want if that's something you value in your life then that's something you value if it's something you don't that's something you don't but ultimately it's about questioning the status quo it's about questioning what what you value and why do i value people over profit do i value community over cash ask yourself those questions like i was trying to do alliteration but i'm doing this off my head so i do apologize for only giving you two of them i do anyway the point is ask yourself those questions guys because that will expedite this process of moving us into a new system a new way of living where there is so much more peace there is so much more emphasis on the value of human life on black lives mattering on trans people and queer people having the love and and respect and humanity that they that they deserve making sure that poor children are able to eat and not having a government that would even question that you know again like these systems need to go they are not they're not adding value to or anything they're taking it away they're not saying hey like you you matter we as a community will take care of you it's like no every man for themselves it's all about individuality all this down the third and it's like listen there's nothing wrong with individuality but ultimately the way in which we will move things forward is via community that's it that's uh, that's how it's always been and how i believe we will make changes happen but until we actually ask ourselves the very important questions such as how do we uproot this system destroy it and replace it with something else that will probably also be replaced with something even better because again we are learning still and also what do we value and why do we value it and holding space for ourselves and each other to question what we value i'm being honest and again if you want a bacon bag if you want a big house if you want a car lot full, full of the mercedes and astro Ast aston martins i don't know i'm not a car person but the point is like do do you want that why like that's cool that's cool if you want that again i'm not judging you for wanting that but question why you want those things because even wanting to manifest those things you have to work towards that it won't just pop out of thin air but why are you acquiring those things why do you want them that's it okay i'm done this is very long so <laughs> i hope all of that made sense any comments thoughts or anything you wish to share based on the video based on anything else that you just want to comment you can always do that on the comment below or you can visit us on our social media pages that will be showing as well on the description box don't forget to like share subscribe also so your family your friends your cat your dogs your spirit guides your honorable ancestors and dishonorable ancestors because sometimes you need some spiritual gains up in your spiritual council okay to let these hoes know that you ain't want to be messed with mm -hmm. don't forget to turn on the notifications to tell you whenever we upload a video till next time guys take care and god bless see you next time bye